Hey kids, how is it going? It's your good old friend, Andre. Here to bring you another contemporary review. Now I know it's been a little while, but I tell you, Papa's back. Papa's back. Today we're going to be checking out some Pablo Picasso. Some guy that you may have heard about. A dude from Spain. Now the 20th century master, one could call him a genioso. This guy really pulled it together with different phases and uh, pretty much broke apart how we would perceive people forever. This piece is one of his most successful pieces ever. A giant painting that was hung outside. It is now hanging, hanging, hanging around in Madrid. And I'm, you know which one I'm talking about, the black and white monster, the killer, the civil war, extraordinaire, Guernica. That's right. So, let's not slow things down any longer. I know that uh, you may be a little bit impatient, but don't worry. Well, that's pretty nuts. I'm gonna take a little while to talk about my thoughts on this. The first thing that I really put my eyes on is this figure on the bottom left. The, the, it looks like a figure, but it's actually just a decapitated head. Or is it decapitated? It looks hollowed out. And the expression in his mouth, particularly, that expression of deadness is troubling. That's troubling. And then when it comes to the way the eye circulates, I sort of went from down there to the right and then to the left looking at these arms that were, you know, holding a broken sword and some other mangled shit on the left side. Is that a foot in there or is that the horse's hoof behind the neck? I can't really tell. From there on I went on up and you check out the horse of course. That's a little bit what I remember the most about Guernica. That and that fucking bull that represents Spain. A little bit literal if you ask me but what can I say? masterpiece. Who am I to judge? I was going down looking at the sword and then moving up and piecing the whole scene together. 
On the very right, this man is screaming with his arms up, and you see there's some sort of building with what may be flames on it. And that leg, that woman's leg, it looks like Spanish ham, cured ham, truly grotesque and terrifying. Hmm. And then you have this light bulb on the top, which, from what I understand, represents technological progress, the horrors of technological progress, raining down fire explosions and mutilated dead children, women screaming to the top of their lungs. And the thing on the left, is that a fire or a volcano? Is it the wrath of nature? Is it the equivalent of Pompeii blowing up? And everyone's face. I don't know. Troubling. It's troubling. And then there's the ghost lady that's coming out of there, slowly poking her head out. That's creepy. She's holding a gas lamp. What does that mean? And it looks like there's other things. It looks like people are holding each other in this abstract mess in the center. This garbled, chaotic mess that results from explosions coming from the sky. All of this in black and white. I know that Pablo P. did a lot of research on this, which you can probably go and check out online. Really worth it. He spent a lot of time doing this before it was hung at the World's Fair. This thing is massive. Don't have the exact size, but it's basically something like seven meters by four meters high. It is gigantic. Absolutely gigantic. And uh, yeah, quite an impressive piece. Uh, All time classic, if you ask. Moi. This was your contemporary review. I'm Andre. See you guys soon.